At Canva, we're committed to making AI a valuable tool in your daily workflow. When teams embrace AI, they can work faster, solve more problems, and produce higher quality work. But we also understand that you might have questions. Or maybe you're ready to embrace it, but your team needs more clarity to ensure projects remain safe, secure, and private. Well, in this session, we're going to try and answer all those curly questions and encourage an open discussion about how AI can benefit your business. Let's get straight into it. When you use Canva AI, you'll type in or upload something, and that's an input. Canva AI will then generate something, and that's an output. And between you and Canva, both your inputs and outputs are owned by you. Of course, we can't speak for anyone else. It's your responsibility to make sure that one, you know and comply with the laws of your country, and two, your input and output doesn't violate anyone else's rights, including intellectual property or data privacy rights. Also, keep in mind, in some countries, AI-generated content isn't recognized as something you can protect with copyright. So in those places, you might not have exclusive rights over your AI-generated designs. And of course, you'll need to follow our terms of use. And this includes our content license agreement, our acceptable use policy, and our AI product terms. Let me show you where to find that last one. On Canvas homepage, just go to the address bar and type in slash policies after the canva.com. Here you can find all our terms and agreements. Scroll down and you'll find the AI product terms. Well, it's really all covered in this first statement. Be a good human. The acceptable use policy goes into a lot more detail about what that means. But you can also find AI specific additions here in the AI product terms. Basically, if you've used AI to create something, be open about it. Acknowledge AI's role in the design instead of suggesting that the design is entirely your own creation. Great question. The short answer is yes. You can use designs generated with Canva AI for any purpose, including personal or commercial projects, as long as you follow our AI product terms and terms of use. Keep in mind that if you're going to use AI output for commercial projects, you may not have exclusive rights to your design. It's your responsibility to ensure that design is suitable for commercial use. This includes determining whether permission is required to depict works of art, photographs, trademarks, or logos. And please be mindful that Canva doesn't guarantee that the AI-generated images, designs, and texts you generate are cleared for use, particularly if the image or design you create looks like someone else's work. No, if you're on Teams, Enterprise, or an education account, your administrators can enable or disable all of Canva's AI tools from the admin panel. Let me show you how to do that. Click here and select Settings. Select Permissions and then select Magic and AI. You can change access for specific tools or for everything. Under Who can the AI-powered assistant generate original content for, select the dropdown and choose an option. These changes will affect all new designs. However, existing designs that previously used magic features will still function as before. If Ask Canva is disabled, people will be directed to the help articles related to their query. Permissions are a great way to introduce AI to the business smoothly and in a controlled way, especially if there's some hesitancy. Start with what everyone is comfortable with and then gradually expand as needed. This is an important question and one we feel really strongly about at Canva. When creating and interacting with our content on our platform, it's essential that everyone can feel safe. To achieve this, we've implemented a range of measures, including automated prompt reviews and a dedicated support team for reporting unsafe content. Additionally, there's Canva Shield, our industry-leading collection of trust, safety, and privacy tools. It's available at no additional cost. So let me show you where you can find out more information about that. Either do a web search for Canva Shield or go to canva.com slash safe AI Canva Shield. This is where you'll find all the latest details about how uh, making AI safe and protecting your privacy. This page is regularly updated by a dedicated team, so it's worth bookmarking. Right, I think that covers the most common questions from ownership to AI access to our ongoing commitment to safety and privacy. Please check out all the links mentioned. I'll make sure I list those in the description as well. We want you and your business to design with complete peace of mind. So if you have additional questions, please let us know.